All right, and to some other news now, and San Francisco has become the first state in the United States to ban e-cigarettes. But the question, of course, is why are e-cigarettes in the middle of this raging controversy? Now, e-cigarettes, also known as vapes, actually heat up nicotine that is extracted from tobacco, amongst other flavorings and chemicals, to create a water vapor that is inhaled. Now, e-cigarettes simulate smoking by providing some behavioral aspects of smoking, but without burning tobacco. Now, the key contention behind the ban of, on e-cigarettes in San Francisco is to protect youngsters, especially teenagers, who are said to have taken to vaping in a very big way in the United States. The first introduced in the year 2003, the use of e-cigarettes has risen exponentially around the world. In the United States alone, almost about 30 million adults, that's almost about 10% of the U.S. population, was found addicted to nicotine through vaping. Now, influential groups such as the American Lung Association and also the American Heart Association have backed the decision by San Francisco. Now, the ban on e-cigarettes is being viewed as an experiment, the result of which no one is quite sure of. Now, the opinion even amongst researchers is pretty divided. Some view the ban as an instrument for controlling nicotine addiction, while others believe that banning e-cigarettes will actually result in harming youngsters, the very people it seeks to protect. But the reality is a pretty complex one. And what is also interesting to note is that e-cigarettes or vapes are recommended and used by cigarette smokers who are trying to quit the habit. Now, the vapor from e-cigarettes is considered almost 95% more safer than regular cigarette smoke as it has no tar and toxins from burnt tobacco. But the dramatic surge in the number of youngsters becoming nicotine addicts is what has prompted San Francisco to ban e-cigarettes. Now, the use of e-cigarettes is also controversial in India as well. The Association of Vapors India has asked the Karnataka state government to repeal the ban on the device. Vyond's Nishchita Virendra brings us more on this story. In August 2018, the union government issued an advisory to all states and union territories asking them to ban the usage of ENDS, which stands for Electronic Nicotine Delivery Systems, which includes e-cigarettes or vapes. Karnataka has banned e-cigarettes back in 2016, terming it addictive, harmful and potentially carcinogenic. Now, the Association of Vapors in India is demanding the ban to be lifted, shaking up the long-existing debate, terming e-cigarettes a smoking cessation device. The science on e-cigarettes being safer than smoking is settled. You know, if you look at all credible organizations, major ones, uh, see, like Public Health England, uh, US FDA, uh, National Academies of Science and Engineering in US, so, so the uh, American Cancer Society, which was the first to call out the link between smoking and cancer. So these are organizations which have been working in this sphere for a long time. Now they have found that this is significantly risk-reduced product. E-cigarettes usually mimic the shape of regular cigarettes and are considered to be less harmful than regular cigarettes. But on the flip side, they contain high amounts of concentrated nicotine. Supporters of such electronic devices argue that if the government has not banned cigarettes despite the damage it causes, then why is it restricting the use of e-cigarettes? Now, on the point of liquid nicotine, what the government says is that liquid nicotine needs permission to use. It's not like permission is not given. Permission is given. There is a procedure. But the procedure is not being applied to anybody who is not a pharmaceutical company. And this is where they're coming from, from a regulatory perspective. Having said that, there are also e-cigarette routes which don't have liquid nicotine. The device itself is not allowed in India. The device is nothing about the flavors. So what about the device itself? The matter has also reached the courts. However, despite the ban, e-cigarettes are widely available in India, both at retail and stores. While some organizations claim that e-cigarettes are safer alternatives for smokers and tobacco consumers, the government has argued that there is no evidence to prove the same and that e-cigarettes being a cessation instrument is a myth. The reason is that nic nicotine is a poison. What they're telling that it is not an addictive thing, it is definitely an one of the addictive thing. Even in the tobacco, the nicotine is more than a tobacco, nicotine is the one which is much more addictive. Mm. And definitely it is a poison. Mm. Okay. And another major thing why they have banned it is that nicotine comes under the drugs. 
and cosmetic act mm -hmm. okay and to have any drug to be sold mm -hmm. you have to have an approval or a license from the drug and cosmetic controller or a drug controller so are e cigarettes beneficial to those who are attempting to quit smoking or is it more addictive in nature well the jury is still out quite literally as the association for vapers india has approached the karnataka high court challenging the notification by the state government and while the decision is being made india continues to lose five people every 2 minutes to tobacco consumption in bengaluru with video journalist chandan mr tavirendra we on world is one